Welcome to my channel IGCC with Sadaf. Today we are going to learn how to write formula of ionic compounds. There are some examples of ionic compounds like sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, aluminium chloride, sodium sulfate, aluminium phosphate. As we know, ionic compounds are made up of positive ions and negative ions like sodium ion and chloride ion. And these oppositely charged ions are arranged in a regular lattice, regular ionic lattice. These negative ions can be atomic ions like chloride ion, sulfide ion, oxide ion. And to find out their valencies, you can check the periodic table. As you know, group 1, it's uh, all these members are having plus 1 charge. Group 2 members have plus 2 charge. Group 3 members have three plus 3 charge. Group 5 elements have minus 3. Group 6 elements have minus 2 charge. Group 7 valency is minus 1 and... Group 8 or noble gases are monoatomic elements because they do not do the reaction or they are inert gases. And for transition elements, there are variable valencies. Chromium plus 3, iron could be plus 2 or plus 3. Copper can make plus 1 charge or plus 2 charge. Usually zinc loses 2 electrons to make plus 2 charge. You can find out these elements and their charges from the periodic table. But there are some combinations of atoms which are called polyatomic ions or compound ions. And these compound ions you have to memorize. Like sulfate ion is SO4-2, carbonate ion is CO3-2, phosphate ion is PO4-3, nitrate ion and ammonium ion. These ions must be learned so that you can use them in the formula of ionic compounds. For chromium compounds, when you see its name, you will see chromium in the bracket. You will find oxidation state of this chromium, which is representing the valency of chromium in this compound. So chromium 3 chloride, similarly for iron, iron 2 sulfate, it is telling us that in this compound iron 2 plus has made this compound. And another compound iron 3 sulfate in this compound, iron 3 plus has made this compound. Let us see why sodium chloride formula is NaCl and why magnesium chloride formula is MgCl2. Sodium chloride is made up of two ions, positive and negative. Sodium ion is a positive ion and chloride ion is a negative ion. Remember that. If the charges are equal in number, they are simply cancelled out because they are already balancing each other. So it is plus 1 and minus 1. You will cancel out them. The formula will be NaCl. Magnesium chloride, as the magnesium belongs to group 2, its charge is plus 2. Mg plus 2, Cl minus 1. In the next step, these charges will be crossed. The, the charges on the top will be written down along with the other elements. We have to cross over these charges. So this magnesium plus 2, this, this 2 will come down with the chlorine and this minus 1. And this 1 will come along magnesium down. So it this the formula will become MgCl2. As you can see here. Similarly, aluminium plus 3 chloride is minus 1 so 3 will come along chloride and 1 with will come along the aluminium so it will become AlCl3 and remember that you don't put the symbols or charges 
in the fi final formula. So it's just the valency which is crossed over. Magnesium oxide. Magnesium is from group 2 and oxygen is from group 6. So when, it's, when it is a part of compound, it is called oxide. Similarly, chlor chlorine will make chloride. Bromine will make bromide. So all these halogens will be changed into halide. Mg plus 2, O minus 2, the charges are equal. So they will be cancelled out. It will become like MgO. Now we will learn a compound containing a polyatomic ion. So sodium is Na plus 1. Sulfate is SO4 minus 2. So this 2 will come along the bottom of sodium. It will become like Na2 SO4. Plus 1. 1 is not written again. No need to write 1. That's why it will be simply Na2SO4. Al plus 3 SO4 minus 2. So this 2 will come down along with aluminium and this 3 will come we will put the bracket around sulfate and then 3 is written like that so it is called Al2SO4 thrice this is how we write down the formula of ionic compounds if they are containing polyatomic ions if you have any questions you can ask And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe the channel.